guys, welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Diaries. I'm your host Martin Lang and today we're going to talk about wood and barrelings. It's a very, very, very broad subject. There's hundreds of types of barrels and there's uh, hundreds of theories and hundreds of way of aging a whiskey. Each distillery has its own uh, barrel program uh, and there's hundreds of ways of doing it. Now we're going to tr- uh, talk about the basics and we're going to talk about a few myths and misconceptions about what barrels are used and what flavors just the, the, the barrel produces to the whiskey. Now the first one that we're going to touch on is the most famous one that is uh, Quirkis Alba, that is American Oak. Now the reason why American Oak is so popular is because uh, the way bourbon is made uh, means that each bourbon that gets aged in American, brand new American Oak, that those barrels cannot be reused uh, to age bourbon again. Uh, otherwise, you're not allowed to call bourbon bourbon. So that's one one of the laws that America introduced in the 70s, um, just to protect as well uh, the the oak business and just to basically it was just a, kind of like an agreement just to make sure that the oak business just keeps thriving. So I imagine like thousands and thousands or almost millions of barrels of uh, of whiskey gets uh, they they can't be reused. So obviously the America uh, the 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 Scottish industry, whiskey industry, or whiskey in- industry in general, started buying all the American oak, and so did the wine industry, especially sherry casks. Now, uh, um, American oak that uh, ages bur- bourbon in imparts a more toffee and vanilla notes to a whiskey. Now, on the other counterpart, sherry, sherry casks, or casks that have been used to age sherry, uh, imparts more like a dry fruit, and what happens is, uh, the sherry industry uh, uses something that is called a Solera method to age the sherries. Now this Solera method goes basically from, from the top to the bottom. At the bottom is the, there's four rows, basically one, two, three, four. And the top barrels have the brand new uh, sherry and the bottom barrels have the older sherry. What this does is like once they open, the, they empty one third of the casks to produce the sherry, then they put new sherry on top and then it trickles down and what it does, it creates a sort of blending and aging at the same, pro, uh, as, at the same time and produces a more consistent product. Now, these are called Solera casks and Solera method, uh, and the sherry distilleries, uh, the sherry uh, producers, they don't sell these casks. So a lot of people believe that all of the whiskies uh, that gets aged in sherry cask uh, actually gets aged in, in sherry casks that had contained sherry in themselves. This is not true anymore. This was true in the early, early 1900s when uh, sherry started uh, exporting all the sherry to the UK and they used to sell it in bulk. So in bulk means that they used to sell all these barrels. And then when they came back to, when they got to the UK, different bars or restaurants or whatnot, they used to empty these barrels. Uh, and then it was too expensive to send them back to Spain. So they were used to either sell them to the distilleries or just lay, uh, left them lying around. Now, at that time, they were using actually sherry casks that contained sherry. But then in the 1980s, Spain decided just to put a stop on this and to uh, preserve quality control. They decided that the only all sherry had to be bottled in Spain. So no more barrels were being sent to Scotland. Now, the Scottish distilleries at the time, they already knew that this was happening. So they started uh, uh, practicing or doing different methods of trying to accomplish that uh, sherry flavor that the sherry was imparting in the oak. Just to be uh, perfectly clear as well, most of the sherry cask, uh, most of the sherry that gets aged, gets aged in American oak. American oak is a lot, uh, a lot better quality and a lot, a lot easier to actually uh, make into barrels. The other type of uh, oak that they can be used is uh, Spanish oak or, uh, or basically European oak. That now nowadays, Spanish oak is basically uh, that is obviously um, grown in Spain only gets sold to Macallan, uh, Holland Park and a couple of other distilleries that they have a special deal with the Spanish sherry. Now most of the uh, European oak comes from Romania or France uh, and still good quality but most of as I said most of the sherry gets aged in American oak. Now what the sherry does what what's been happening nowadays and this is where the misconception comes is to age actual sherry for sale uh, the oak has to be quite neutral. They don't they don't char it. They don't do anything to the oak itself, so it doesn't impart a lot of flavor to the sherry itself. It's just it's supposed to be more neutral, just to age it and just to let it mature. Sherry has we're not going to go into the production of sherry, but sherry has a different two different ways of maturations. Uh, one is through oxi- oxidation, and the other one is through basically a, a floor, like it's like a layer on top of the sherry that stops any air coming in. Anyway, so it produces two types of sherry. One is Solaroso and the other one is Fino or Manzanilla. 
or Pedro Jimenez. Now, once all, all, all the, the sherry is used, it gets bottled in Spain, but those Solera casks are actually never given away. So when you see a label that says that the, sh the uh, whiskey has been ate in egg sherry barrels, the company itself, let's just say uh, Balvini or Macallan or whoever it is, they go to the to the to the sherry producer and they specify what sort of barrel they want, what sort of charring, how old they want the sherry to be aged in, and usually it's about two to two and a half years. So when this is done, uh, that sherry actually they get discarded or they get reused for another uh, aging. It actually is not not good for consumption. So when you hear a distillery going like, oh, uh, this, uh, this beautiful cask has been aged, uh, sherry has been aging, it goes straight into the distillery, the whiskey goes straight into it, that's most of the times it's a lie, or it's just a marketing thing. The sherry that goes into, into those barrels are never used again and never bottled because they're not fit for consumption. So it's pretty interesting to, to think that because a lot of people do believe that uh, sherry was in those barrels and is like you you can drink those cherries it's actually nice no, just custom made for the distillery now i'm going to give you a couple of more examples of what sort of sherry whiskies you can get and what sort of flavors american oak and cherry gives you so for instance uh you got glenronic glenronic has been aging uh all the whiskies in a lot of sherry for uh as long as they've been open um so this one in particular is in pedro jimenez pedro jimenez is a thicker style of sherry a lot sweeter and imparts a lot more sweet notes what you have to understand the reason why it imparts these flavors is because the sherry the casks itself actually breathes so all the, the sherry actually goes into the pores of the casks and then basically ex expels it back so the, the the cask itself actually has sherry ingrained in the wood so it, that's why you get this sort of color as well um, so this one has been aged 13 years in exclusively Pedro Jimenez cask uh, it's the first one that's Glenronic and what you get out of that is like fruit notes like um, like um, uh, dry fruits like a lot of tannins like very chewy whiskey the other example is a double maturation, that this is double wood, basically this is Valvini, they've been doing this for a long time, uh, in the 80s, and they were one of the pioneers, David Stewart was one of the pioneers of double maturation. What double maturation accomplishes actually balance the two whiskey. Uh, if you age a whiskey exclusively in sherry casks, which I personally love, but a lot of people might not like, is the fact that it just becomes really chewy and just a lot, it's really dry and tanning, it's that, 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 that little flavor to the whiskey. What, uh, what bourbon does is it gives more sweet notes like toffee and vanilla that comes from the bourbon and the, and the American oak. Um, so what this is, uh, double maturation is uh, six years on American oak and six years on uh, sherry cask. I'm pretty certain about that. I might be slightly wrong. But so what it does is just basically rounds out the whiskey and you can still taste the sherry, but it's not, any, it's not as intense. It's kind of a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more rounded. Uh, so that's the Balvini double wood and the one that we're going to try and we already talked about this one briefly in another uh, in another video is the Macallan 12 year old because you cannot talk about wood without talking Macallan. Macallan was uh, is one of the only distilleries that has a uh, very specific contract with the Spanish uh, government about how they can buy oak because Spanish oak industry is heavily regulated and Macallan and Highland Park which are basically owned by the same company. Uh, they have a deal with the Spanish to supply a European oak that's made specifically in Spain. Uh, and it imparts a very particular flavor. And Macallan has, like, the sherry cask from Macallan are incredible. This is an incredible whiskey. Uh, so this is 12 years exclusively in Spanish sherry oak. Um, so no, no American oak, but just Spanish. Then, um, so yeah, so that's the three examples. Um, most of these hundreds of types of whiskies uh, with different casks, especially nowadays, the industry has been working on uh, Marsala, ex Sicily casks, like the, like heaps of different wines, including like um, uh, Glen Morangi plays a lot, uh, around with a lot of pork casks and uh, uh, what's the other one? Um, a lot of different, different, different casks. Uh, and they, like literally the sky's the limit. Like there's so many types of wine out there that, that, that gets aged in wood and they impart all very different flavors to to, um, to the whiskey. So I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of my Cullen 12, uh, one of my favorite whiskeys out there. And um, there we go. And yeah, that's sherry 
all along. It's just incredible. Um, I really, really enjoy that uh, that dryness, that little tannings, uh, all the flavors that, that comes through the sherry. So thank you for listening. Slanjaba.